By the way, I have a more than healthy fear of dementia, and so I'm excited about this next news, a medical breakthrough. The FDA has approved a device that reliably screens now for Alzheimer's, just a blood test. It's all it takes. It's called LumaPulse G Plasma Ratio Test. Ask for it by name, and it could expedite diagnoses by detecting a type of plaque associated with Alzheimer's, a degenerative brain disease, which I and many others fear. The FDA says the test marks a major step toward making diagnoses easier and potentially more accessible to patients other than, better than methods like a, this is what they currently do, a spinal tap or a PET scan. Joining us now to break down the effect of this new uh, device is Dr. Celine Gounder. Once again, she is a CBS News medical contributor and the editor-at-large for public health at KFF uh, Health News. Dr. Gounder, thank you very much for being here. Adriana also has a fear of dementia. Yep. I mean, like, it's just sort of as you get older, and particularly if you deal with parents who go through their own journey with it, you'd love to know sooner. So talk about how big of a breakthrough this is and what we can do with it. So this new, new blood test, the LumaPulse uh, blood test, is trying to detect amyloid and tau, which are two proteins that are associated with Alzheimer's disease. Now, it's important to understand that um, this is not a perfect test, but it is a much easier test to perform than say the PET scans or the spinal tap that until now were the best tests that we had for this other than you know waiting until somebody passed away and performing an autopsy. Um, Alzheimer's disease is likely caused by a mix of different things. So it could be including your genetics, uh, this buildup of tau and amyloid protein in the brain, inflammation, which is one of the reasons we've been talking about things like the shingles vaccine may right. actually help with right. preventing dementia. Uh, and then other issues like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes may also be contributing. Okay, so this test um, will allow more people to be screened, but if you would detect it earlier, how much does that help you? Because there is no cure for Alzheimer's. There is no cure for Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. There have been some treatments developed in recent years, like Lakembi, people may have heard of, uh, for Alzheimer's disease, but none of these treatments is curative. There are a number of uh, significant complications that we've seen with some of these, like brain bleeding. But for some people, this may help stave off uh, progression of the disease. So uh, plaque is what you're looking for in this blood test? Are there anti-plaque drugs? I mean, if plaque's the problem, can we just get rid of the plaque? Yeah, so that's what those drugs like Lakembi and so on are trying to do is target the amyloid. But there's actually some uh, debate in the community, in the medical community, as to whether amyloid is causing Alzheimer's disease. Is it necessary but not sufficient? So if not sufficient, what are some of the other things that may be contributing? And could those other things, other pathways, also be targets for treatment? All right, we only have like 20 seconds, but can me and Tony take this test to see if we're likely to develop? No, 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 that's not a good idea because, <laughs> you're, yeah, so it's not approved for people uh, unless they have symptoms and they're over 55. So if the three of us were to get tested, there's a very high probability of getting false positive Positives, well, you might say, well, what's the big deal? Uh, that might mean you can't get life insurance, not oh, to mention wow. the anxiety associated with that.